time ago we did this budget go-kart build and if you guys remember it had water in the ng on and pulled the engine uh discovered the water inside of it i fixed the engine and we did something with it i can't remember but now we have this one going to my niece if you remember i built my nephew the dingo So she's wanting a go-kart because they've been sharing his. And uh, I'm gonna build this one for her. We know how sharing goes with siblings. Yeah, we know how sharing goes with siblings, it doesn't. So she's wanting a go-kart. I was gonna build her a dingo that I had, but dingoes are super thin frames and the one I built for my nephew was in extremely good shape. The other one I have is not. So this Murray is actually a really good little frame. It's the Murray Explorer. It's just, it's beefy, it's heavy, it's well built. So what we're gonna do is, I never had the roll cage of this and I can't find, cannot find the bolt on roll cage. Man, do I wish I could just to bolt the roll cage back on this because they're nice little cages. But I don't have one, so what he's gonna do is bend up a one inch roll cage and weld it on. So it's gonna go up like this, 90 or 45 right here. You know, just be a little roll cage, have a hoop behind the seat and so we're gonna bend that and then this can go to powder coat, get sandblast and powder coat till green and we can reassemble it. So we kind of just started working and building this row cage without filming. But you guys don't like videos anyways. Just like text, on screen text. So we're cutting a V, kind of like we did in uh, on the twin engine. Man, that beautiful. Woo! Oh yeah. Does it look like that line's in the right spot? Yeah, like perfect. Ah! We're eyeballing everything on this car. Get your level all on, level all on. Come on, baby, be right. Get the plate fit. <laughs> Switch That's center. It. it looks perfect. We eyeballed everything. Come up a little bit. Right about there. Well, it looks pretty sweet. We eyeballed everything. I'm telling you, I held it up, told Lonnie to center it, and we just crudely marked it, and then uh, it turned out perfect. We couldn't have measured it that good. No. <laughs> Professional. Oh, don't fly. 
Yeah, and it kind of goes from narrow to wide from down here, but I think that actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, that added so much more look to it than putting a straight piece of tube. Like normal people would put a straight piece of tube. Not I'd say we do another V like right here. That's and then connect vision. it to the steer hoop. Make it strong. It would. Because if you look at that, it's kind of rinky dinky. That's pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs> Not I take it, it back. <laughs> I immediately regret that. <laughs> this thing's heavy, dude. I'll tell you, like, grab the front of that. Give it a little. Hey, lift with your back and twist and jerk when you come up. <laughs> I mean, for a little go kart, that's got some weight to it. I mean, it's a full size buggy. So. It's a rock crawler. It's basically a razor. You know what, though? That hoop might be straight, and it looks like the seat's crooked. As well. Oh, yeah, that's the, my home built seat. Don't you wait. Is he slab, slab jocking me? <laughs> Make up for it. <laughs> You jive turkey. <laughs> you jive turkey. Yeah, the, uh, okay, the seat doesn't have the back bolts in it. We only threw two bolts in it because we didn't care. It so was a budget is, build. Yeah, it was a budget build. We can't afford two more bolts. <laughs> uh, so, should on the back, should I just do bars going straight down? Should I come from right here and go and do like a second D or just do slants? Depends. Do you want a luggage track on huh? I think a luggage, luggage track behind it would be pretty sweet. We could just do a hoop like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. The hoopsie hoop. And then do, it'd be cool. It'd be a little bit more work, but hey, we got the And thing. then like some uh, real thin, cool sheet metal to have like a little storage rack. That would be pretty cool. This girl, she might have Snapchat filters and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> they don't play baby dolls no more. They play Snapchat, let's face it. Uh, that's still hot. Those welds are hot. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Wait, don't. Well, it looked like it did nothing. Okay. There we go. Hold the rotation. Okay. I think it looks pretty safe, though. Oh, yeah. I like it. What do you think it looks like from the front? Can we go side to side, look back from the front? Perfect. Cool. I don't know why your mom would raise you the way she did. I hate so much about the things you choose to be. <laughs> grinder to smooth those down before I weld them. What do you guys think? Pretty cool. Pretty cool.
All the parts used on this go-kart are linked in the video's description. Make sure to use my discount code REDBEARD on GoPowerSports.com to save 10%. You gonna go look at it? Do you like the green? Yeah. It's actually got a pearl color in it when the sun's hitting it. It like shines kind of like a pearl does. This is Isabel's new go-kart. So she can ride, her brother got the dingo. So she can ride with him. And you can slide the seat up actually. It's gonna take it for its first ride. Now flip that switch up. Yep, same. It starts just like Ephraim's does. Ephraim was napping. So you like it? Mm -hmm. I'm sure y'all have a blast. I wish I had one like that when I was a kid, that's for sure. Uh, no, I never had one like that when I was a kid. I never had a go-kart period when I was a kid. I so. didn't either. I had a little $99 mini bike when I was a kid. Oh, I wish I'd had that. <laughs> yeah, well, I had to work really hard to get it. <laughs> Those parents never bought it. You like it, Ephraim? Yeah. I think it'll look good sitting beside yours, both of them. Look them front tires on there, boy. You want to take it around the tree one? Yeah. yeah, he... What do you think? Redbeard's Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. GoPowerSports has a huge amount of awesome go-kart and mini-bike parts, 
And when making your purchase, use the Redbeard discount code in the upper right hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal. Hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode. And go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest to stay up to date with the channel. Guys, always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.